Okay guys, so I will do my fasting based on the traditions of our Muslim brothers and sisters. So I researched something in the internet. So this is at hamariweb.com. My place is in Pulomolok so I really make sure to search for it because I want to know if what will be the start of the fasting and what will be the time for iftar. So let's go to May 4. This one, number 11. So for May 4, the start of fasting is at 4.12 a.m. and it will end at 5.48 p.m. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. This video is not a usual video that I'm going to make. This is a challenging video, so I will challenge myself to do fasting. So we all know that it's already a month of Ramadan for our Muslim brothers and sisters. I decided to do fasting just for one day because I'm really curious about how it feels if you are not eating something or you are not drinking something. So in fasting you are not allowed to drink, to eat any kinds of food, then any kinds of liquid. So I'm very curious about that. As of this time it's already 9.55 p.m. Then later, uh, I think in 30 minutes I will sleep because I need to wake up early in the morning to, to eat my meal before I do fasting. They say that if you want to do fasting for the first time, at least you can have it half day. But since I'm already adult and I think I'm already matured enough to handle myself, I decided to do fasting a full day. So tomorrow I will wake up early, I think at around 2.30 to 3 a.m. In Ramadan, they call it sahur, so they eat their food a between 3 to 4 a.m. Then after that, they pray, then they do fasting for the whole day. But for now, I will go to my bed and sleep. So good night and see you tomorrow. So hi guys, it's already 3.12 a.m. in my phone. That what? So Monday, May 4. And this is my food before I will take my fasting. So I have here fried rice. Then this is fish. Then I have sambal also. Then I have two eggs. Yeah, this is fried eggs and of course the fruits so I have three bananas and apples Okay guys, so I'm now back here in my room and I already took my breakfast so they call it sahur so I just eat some fried rice some fruits like the bananas and apple then some fish with sambal then fried eggs and I'm already full now then I drink a lot of water maybe later before fasting I will drink again water so that I could sustain my fasting for the whole day 
and I check the time for the start of fasting so you have there May 4 2020 and the start of fasting is at 4 12 a.m. and it will end at 5 48 p.m. this time is already 3 44 a.m. and I still have minutes before the start of fasting so since I'm already full I cannot sleep back again but I'm going to edit some videos maybe after one hour I will go back to sleep then let's see if what time will I going to wake up later Hi guys, good morning. So I just woke up and currently it's already 8.32 a.m. So I think I only have um, 6, 7, 6, 7, 7, 8. I think I only have less than 3 hours of sleep. Then, of course, this is not a normal day because I will not going to take my meal. Just to divert my attention, I think I need to, um, I need to go to the barber shop because my hair is very long now. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. Hi guys, so just arrived from barber shop. So this is now my new haircut. So this is just 40 pesos, uh, less than one dollar. I just hope that I still look good with this kind of haircut. And currently I'm in a conference. So this is Zoom meeting. Currently discussing some ways on how to del deliver lessons and topics via Zoom or online. Because as we all know, it's hard for us to have a contact, direct contact with our students, especially that we are experiencing this pandemic, which is the COVID-19. Uh, so far, so good. And as of now, I feel like I need to drink some water. It feels like my stomach has a lot of air. So I hope I could sustain this till afternoon. So the real challenge is from 12 noon to afternoon. So this is our meeting online via Zoom. So we are discussing something. Uh, we are discussing some ways on how to like like what i said earlier how to deliver lesson online and we're discussing something for the uh, upcoming school year so after the teleconference i think i will take a bath because i still have many small hairs in my head i need to get rid all of it so earlier my sister decided to order some food from jollibee and that's the real challenge because I have decided that I need to do fasting and I won't eat that until the iftar time. Hey guys, so this is our house then this is our small garden. So we have so many flowers here because my mother likes planting some plants and flowers. Then this is our small payag. By the way, these are the charcoal. So we use this for cooking and I decided to stay here for a while just for this time for lunch time because I'm always tempted if I'm in the kitchen so in here you can see this is avocado this is from the farm then this is we call this gabi or in English I think this is taro these are the soft drinks and this is the spot where I am going to stay later uh, we call this payag here in the Philippines or a small cottage hi guys so I'm currently here at a, at a small cottage we call this payag so I'm just sitting here relaxing and making sure I'm away from the kitchen a few moments later so this is the back of our house and we still have some plants here some vegetables like this one this is eggplant and we have spring uh, onions then we have kangkong then this is gabi or the taro then you have the okra then those are the guavas just seedlings and we have also calamansi then this is pechay my mother planted this one yesterday Hey guys, so time check is already 11.52 and supposed to be it's about time for lunch but since I decided to do fasting so I will skip my lunch for today 
and honestly speaking I really don't know what I'm going for this time I'm just thinking of listening some music some songs in YouTube watching some videos in YouTube then uh, maybe playing some flight simulation later so when it comes to my senses I'm already hungry I'm already thirsty my stomach now is starting to to produce some gases I will just give you a quick tour of our small store so this store is owned by my sister normally we sell the usual things like the canned goods oh my god this is food <laughs> I need to stay away from this then we have also the cotton then those are the napkins the detergent powder then we have the coffee we have Copico here Nescafe then the shampoo then this is for the hair aside from that we have uh, some slippers then these are the junk foods junk foods should always present in a store like this we call this Sari Sari store we have here the noodles by the way we don't have Indomie so this is just Philippine products and I think Copico is an Indonesian product We are now here outside and this is our national highway. So this direction is to General Santo City and this direction is to Polomolok. So this is basically to the north and this is to the south. Since we have our quarantine at this time, you cannot find public transportation here. Beside National Highway, you can find this one, this store selling pillows. So this is the example of the pillows. A bigger pillow like this like that one then those are the small pillows a few moments later so they ordered some food from Jollibee oh my god they have this chicken then the burger steak and french fries but no 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 I don't want to be tempted from this food so I will just reserve my food later for my iftar it's just to divert my attention I'm just editing some videos while they are eating their lunch and after this I will take a bath look at that guys and they eat at my back <laughs> Hi guys, I just finished taking a bath and now it's 2.43 p.m. and I am planning to prepare my food later for the iftar and I'm thinking to make some pizza, yeah, chicken pizza for tonight's dinner. So hi guys, so I just came from the kitchen and I just prepared my meal to be cooked later. So I will bake a pizza, chicken pizza because I'm craving for pizza. It's now 3.40 p.m. here and I still have about two hours before the iftar. So I'm really hungry at this time. I'm really thirsty. I think the, the first thing that I will do when it's already 5.48 p.m. is to drink water because I'm really thirsty. Hi guys, so it's now 4.25 and I still have more than one hour before the iftar and I am happy to say that I am about to finish this fasting and I have so many realizations, I have so many learnings about this experience 
I learned that fasting is not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy act. It's not a simple act that everybody could do. It takes a lot of courage, determination, and motivation, and faith just to finish this kind of activity. So with that, I have so much respect to our Muslim brothers and sisters because they do this for a month every year. I did this just for one day. I felt the difficulties, I felt the struggle, and it's not an easy experience that you can just, just say that, okay, I will do fasting, then uh, it's not easy to perform this kind of activity because imagine you are not eating, you are not drinking some liquid, especially now I'm so thirsty. I still have my liquid since early morning, so it makes me weak, but since I am driven and motivated to finish this one, it's not really impossible to accomplish this fasting. Fasting also made me realize that I am blessed, that I could eat three times a day, I could eat a good food, I could eat a complete food, a healthy food that I want. So by that fasting, it reminds me of the importance of food, the importance of liquid to us spiritually, to us physically. It gives us strength, it gives us good mind conditioning, it gives us energy, it gives us a power. So my heart really goes to the people who are starving for food. This fasting um, made me more compassionate about those people in need. Hey guys, so this is my meal for tonight. So later at 5.48 p.m. I will eat all of this. So I have here first water because I'm thirsty. Then I have two bananas. Then this is fried chicken from Jollibee. This is spaghetti also from Jollibee. And this is my homemade chicken pizza. Let's check again the time. So the iftar is at 5.48 p.m.